the view of perfection being the greatest value is a lie. Being perfect doesn't mean never being broken. Being perfect is allowing the redemptive work in the brokenness to take place so that however you come out on the other side, the story, the lessons, the journey, the experience, the healing, that is the perfect story. That is the perfect narrative. That is the perfect existence. And there is not one person, there's not one of you that has been broken or is broken or will be broken that cannot be healed, that cannot be repaired. And it, it is the redemption, the redemption of the broken that makes it so beautiful when you realize that striving for perfection is actually a lack of perfection. But being broken, going through the redemptive process, allowing love to heal all that has been hurt, all that has been broken, all that has carried the pain and the scars physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, to do its work, to pick up the pieces and bring back together, that is perfect. That is perfection. Remaining in the state of trying to be what you were was never the intention of your life. The intention of your life was to go through whatever you have gone through and allow love to heal you. So you will never remain in the state of how you came into the world, a blank slate, and you were never intended to. I believe the natural order of existence, the natural order of the universe is love. I actually think entropy is love showing that love is the only answer because things break. Yet love restores and love makes perfect. The pottery in Japan with the gold seals, that is perfect because it's the story of which was, then broke, which is again in a redemptive state more beautiful than it was prior. You are more valuable. You are more precious. You are more perfect after the healing than you ever were before the brokenness. And what a beautiful story of allowing the healing to take place, to have that story of I was, I am, and I will be.